Many faculty would like to be able to preview all the questions and answers of a quiz. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this in my courses. This quick guide will provide a workaround for being able to do this. There are a number of steps in the process. Please make sure you follow the tutorial exactly or you may end up allowing the students to see all the questions and answers when they've completed a quiz. So there's three steps in this process. The first step is to create a new submission view. This is needed so you can view all the questions and answers once you take the quiz using the preview feature. Click on Submission Review tab on the nav bar. Click Quizzes. Click on the name of the quiz you wish to edit. Click on Submission Views tab. Click on the Add an Additional View button. Enter a name. It doesn't really matter what the name is. Leave the date and time restrictions alone. Don't touch those. Scroll down till you see Show Questions. Click the button, radio button that says Yes. Click the checkbox that says Show All Answers. Click Save. So that's the first step in the process. I've created this view. The second step in the process is to take the quiz as a student. This will allow you to see the submission view you just created when you submit the quiz. To do this, click on the context menu next to the name of the quiz, click Preview, click Start Quiz, click OK. So now you're going to get to see the quiz. You do not have to take any answers or do any questions. Just scroll down to you see Go to Submit the Quiz. So we don't have to answer anything. So click on Go to Submit Quiz. You get some warning. Click on Submit Quiz. And then in the confirmation, click Yes, Submit Quiz. So the submission view you created will be displayed. The correct answer to each question will have a little arrow icon next to the choices. So this is how you know what the answers are. Now, if you would like to save a copy of this quiz, make sure you do a left click inside of the quiz itself. And then you need to press Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac to select all the questions. Do Control C uh, on a PC or Command C on a Mac to copy it to your clipboard. Next, go ahead and open up Word, create a new document in Word, and then do Control V on the PC or Command V on the Mac. As you see, it copies all the answers and questions with the correct answer being the arrow. I can now go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and close out Word and I would save it if I wanted to and then click exit preview so the last step in the process is now we need to delete that additional submission view if you don't delete this submit that submission view students will be able to see all the questions and answers when they take the quiz and if that's your choice that's fine but for most faculty they don't want the students to see all of this stuff so I'm going to click on the name of the quiz that you've just added the submission view. Click on the submission views tab. Click the checkbox next to the submission view I just created. Click on the trash can icon. In the confirmation box, click yes. Click save and close. 